What's up you guys, it's Vinsanity, and today we're going to be learning a move that I like to call the double leg sweep. Now, if you guys remember the single leg sweep, it actually just has one leg that swings under. This one, the difference is we swing two legs at the same time. This move I actually learned before I learned the single leg sweep, and it actually helped me really understand how to do that. So without further ado, let's get down to the floor. Alright you guys, so for me this is a really fun move to do and it's a really easy way to connect other moves together. I'm going to show you guys kind of the technique of this and how I learned it and then I'm going to show you guys a couple of other different ways to do it. So before you guys start on this, you want to make sure you're wearing the correct shoes. Um, you want to have shoes that of course covering up your feet. I wouldn't recommend doing this without shoes because your, your, the top of your foot will slide on the floor. Um, you could practice this in socks if you guys have no other options and you're on a carpet practice with socks but make sure your feet are covered because you will burn them up like crazy on the floor all right some shoes that you want to avoid is anything like with a shell toe here um, you can use those but they tend to get stuck kind of similar to when you do a sweep just like that all right it'll get stuck so um, lighter smaller shoes definitely work a lot easier so when I first learned this move I was actually doing a knee spin and I was just playing with the idea of spinning on my knees like that um, and doing it in different ways. And what I was trying to do is actually control my knee spin, kind of like how you do a Zulu spin where you use your arms and you spin, right? Um, what I did is I was in my knee spin like this and I, would, I was still spinning, but I would reach over and I would continue the spin like that. To break that down, basically you are gonna stay in this position the entire time and you're gonna kind of start from here. What we want to do is reach over with our arm and at the same time bring our legs to here. Right? Okay, see that? From here to here. And then as I reach over, this for most people is going to be kind of the most uncomfortable part. We're going to reach over back to this position. Okay, let's try that again. So from here, reaching over, bringing my legs to the side and under. Reaching this arm over and going to here, okay? Again, a little bit faster, starting from here, reaching over, under, over, under, all right? Again, most of the control is just with your arms, your legs just kind of follow, right? You kind of just stay in this position all the way around to here. Now that you guys know the basic technique and form, I'm gonna show you guys another way. You guys could actually do it in place without doing the spinning. And this is a little bit more tricky. This one is much more like the normal sweep where we're going here and under. What we're gonna do is have our legs forward and we're gonna pull both of our legs back to the side. Ideally, you wanna get both knees to the floor. You could do it this way, but that just means you have to have your legs really wide. And if you're not that flexible, this will be a little bit harder. So if you wanna just keep your knees to the floor and keep them close, it'll be the easiest for you, okay? From here, we do that same technique that we did earlier where we lift up to here, and you kind of reach over and pull your legs out back to the side, back to here, okay? So again, pull your legs back, make sure both knees are to the floor, one leg over the other, sweep under, lifting your arm, reaching over. By lifting up your arm, this kind of takes the weight off of this side and gives your, your legs a little gap to slide through, making it a little bit easier, right? If you just kind of stay like this, it's definitely possible to go under, but you kind of have to like wiggle around or go really fast, okay? So by lifting up your arms from here, it allows it to happen much easier. Again, swinging it back, switching your arms, it just kind of makes it a lot easier. One more time. Here, all the way to the back. Other side. One more time, slowly swing it back, getting our knees to the floor, lifting up, sliding under. All right, going a little bit faster, swing under. One more time, swing under. Now lastly is getting into this, and you can do this in any way, shape, or form, um, and I encourage you guys to take this technique and flip it and make it your own. Um, this is just a simple slide, like a knee slide, and by doing this slide, it gives you just that enough speed to pull your legs under. A lot of times you're going slow, it's a little bit hard to pull your legs under, but when you get that initial speed, it allows you to really, really whip your legs under. 
Okay, so first I'm gonna show you guys our first technique when we do the spin. Alright, so knee slide to here. Alright, I'm gonna do it twice here, knee slide. Alright, doing that spin. Second way, I'm gonna go slide under. One more time. In here, slide under. Alright you guys, so that is the double leg sweep. Like I mentioned, it is one of those moves that you could easily get stuck. So make sure you guys practice the technique. Practice it with shoes that can slide a little bit and of course, have fun with it. Moves like this I just really, really love because it just gives me that freedom to move around. Again, if you guys want to see more moves like this, make sure you guys press like and leave a comment about what you guys want to see next. Again, I hope you guys enjoy this video and for more tutorials, knowledge, and hip hop, make sure you guys subscribe to Insane TV. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.